so friends in this inguinal ligament today we will see formation relation extensions attachment of the inguinal ligament along with that we will see some detail about the conjoint tendon so to uh, learn the inguinal ligament first we will to see the anterior abdominal wall this is showing you external most layer of the uh, muscle that is external oblique muscle this external oblique muscle when come nearer to inguinal fold the aponeurosis of this muscle get thickened and folded backward and this thickening and folding of backward of aponeurosis is form the inguinal ligament here it is showing you a muscle layer at the inguinal fold it is um, folded backward along with the, it is thickened and this is the formation of inguinal ligament to learn in detail about the inguinal ligament we will have to understand the pelvic bone in this pelvic bone this is showing you anterior superior iliac spina bony landmark and the part this is showing you a pubic tubercle that is other bony landmark so here this is medial point and this part is the lateral point external oblique aponeurosis get thickened folded backward and forming the inguinal ligament so here mm, this uh, inguinal ligament in the, its lateral half it is a rounded and oblique while in its medial half it is a grooved upward and almost horizontal you can see if i want to see this inguinal ligament from the superior view with the lateral end that is anterior superior iliac spine with the medial end that is the pubic tubercle i can see grooving upward of this inguinal ligament from the superior view this medial half of inguinal ligament with grooving upward form the uh, form the floor of inguinal canal and it loads the spermatic cord in the male or round ligament of uterus in the female so now we will see the extensions of the inguinal ligament the first is the lacunar ligament or pectineal part of inguinal ligament it is a triangular in shape with apex attached at the pubic tubercle medial end and base is concave towards the lateral side it is a straight line over the pectine pubis and forms the boundary of the this triangle uh, support the spermatic cord in the lower figure also you can see the same thing that is medial end apex and concave base that is attached over here pectine pubis so it is a horizontal in its position from and this forms the medial boundary of the femoral ring here also you can see the relation in the lower figure now we will come to other extension and that is a pectineal ligament from the posterior part of base of the this lacunar ligament there is a one straight line pectineal fascia thickened attached to the pectineal line this ligament is the thickening of the pectineal fascia and attached to the pectine pubis now we come to the third extension in the middle end showing you a linea alba and this is showing you external pink colored area showing you external oblique aponeurosis just above and lateral to pubic crest there is a small gap and this is a triangular in shape with base lateral crush and medial crush and that is called as a superficial inguinal ring so here this is showing you a lateral medial crush like oval gap small oval gap with lateral crush and showing you a medial this is the medial crush of the superficial inguinal ring here also in the lower figure you can see this is the superficial inguinal ring that is a superficial inguinal ring with base lateral crush and showing you a medial crush now the fibers from the inguinal ligament from the pubic tubercle and medial end of inguinal ligament from the lateral crest passes posteriorly and upward and medially towards the linea alba you can also see here the fibers from this lateral crest passing upward and medially towards the linea alba and that is called a reflected part of inguinal ligament this fibers are behind the medial end of superficial inguinal ring it lies anterior to conjoint tendon and they interlace with each other this fibers 
of the oppo they interlace with the fibers of the opposite side this suggest additional attachment of the external oblique aponeurosis muscle about the attachment of the inguinal ligament in its upper two third it gives attachment to the internal oblique muscle in its medial part it gives attachment to the cremastric muscles in its lateral one third it gives attachment to the transverse abdominis muscle if we see the lower part of the attachment it will attach with the fascia lata a deep fascia of the thigh and because of that stretching it the inguinal ligament is directly convex downwards because of its traction now we come to the the other point and that is that conjoint tendon conjoint tendon is formed by fusion of lowest fiber of aponeurotic fiber of internal oblique and transverse attached abdominis it is attached to the pubic crest so in this figure with purple colored area we show the lateral two third of the inguinal ligament upper part giving origin to internal oblique actually some of this fibers will go directly medially upward and then directly medially and downward and go towards the pubic crest and pectin pubis and they attach to the posterior part of the pectin pubis the same way the fibers from the transverse abdomen is from the lateral one third of the inguinal ligament also take origin and they passes the same direction as the inguinal internal oblique and attach to the pectin pubis this attachment of the internal oblique and transverse abdomen is towards the medial part of pubic crest and pectin pubis is called conjoint tendon now we will see the fibers of in the lower figure here you can see the fiber of uh, this internal oblique and transverse here i want to show you that this is passes deep posterior to superficial inguinal ring and anterior to lateral crush of the fib that is a lateral extensions of the uh, inguinal ligament so here it guards the weak point of the superficial inguinal ring mm. this white color ring showing you that cover the uh, this common fibers are known as a conjoint tendon medial extension of this conjoint tendon the medial extension of this tendon conjoint tendon is rectus sheet while literally the fibers from the transverse abdomen is lower down it is continue conducted to the superior ramus of pubis and that is known as a interfovular band